If you have been to a neoclassical museum or gallery recently, you've most likely seen famous paintings by Jacques Louis David. His paintings have G been cherished as masterpieces of the neoclassical style. These masterpieces are considered the preeminent French paintings of their time, and they are sure to make you envious. Below are some of his most famous works. If you have enjoyed the video so far, we would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. Let's know if you want more videos like this, by hitting the like button, now back to the video. 1. The Coronation of Napoleon by Jacques Louis David. The Coronation of Napoleon was finished in 1807. It depicts Napoleon's coronation in the Notre Dame de Paris. The painting has large dimensions, with its almost 10 meter width and little over 6 meter height. David was an official painter for Napoleon, and this is probably one of his most important paintings. The painting has some controversy because it's not clear which of the siblings were portrayed in the painting, but it is interesting to note that the three siblings of Napoleon were not invited to the coronation. The painting features the emperor, Napoleon, in a coronation robe similar to the Pope's robes. Also depicted are his brother, Joseph Bonaparte, and his mother, Julie Clary. The Pope, who is seated on Napoleon's right, is blessing the coronation. In the background, the painting shows the Emperor's mother, wearing a white dress. Although David was commissioned to paint the painting, he had some concerns about the portrayal of Napoleon. The Emperor had a fear that the people would consider his self-crowning poor taste. Two. The Intervention of the Sabine Women by Jacques Louis David The Intervention of the Sabine Women is a painting in which a group of women stop a conflict between Romans and the Sabines in 1794. The canvas was inspired by David's wife, Marguerite Charlotte Pecoul, who visited him while he was in prison. David was jailed for his political activities, but he hoped to return to painting history after his release. During his time in prison, David began working on the painting. The Intervention of the Sabine Women was a prominent and political painting of its time. This masterpiece portrays the victory of love over conflict. It is a symbol of peace over conflict and a plea to the world to unite after bloodshed. The women fought to stop the invasion, and their husbands and fathers intervened to help women. This painting is a great example of David's influence on his society. His work was heavily used as political propaganda during the French Revolution as well as set up national festivals and stage grand funerals for martyrs. The lictors bring to Brutus the bodies of his sons by Jacques Louis David. 3. The lictors bring to Brutus the bodies of his sons depicts a classical story from ancient Rome. Brutus ordered his sons' deaths after they were found guilty of plotting the overthrow of the Roman Republic. Ultimately, Brutus sacrificed his family to protect the Republic. It depicts Roman consul Brutus as a stoic figure who has just condemned two of his sons to death for treason. 4. The Oath of the Horatii by Jacques Louis David. The Oath of the Horatii is one of the most famous paintings in the history of the world. It depicts a dispute between Rome and Alba Longa. The Romans elect three brothers, as their representative combatants. Each of them takes an oath to protect Rome. They are then re-elected to fight for their father, which enables them to protect the city. Today, it is on display at the Louvre in Paris. The piece was a hit with both the public and art critics. 5. Napoleon Crossing the Alps by Jacques Louis David. Napoleon Crossing the Alps or Bonaparte Crossing the Alps was created between 1801 and 1805. During the French Revolutionary Wars, it shows Napoleon Bonaparte riding his horse and leading his army across the Great Street Bernard Pass. The dramatic composition and noble depiction of Napoleon make this artwork stand out. Napoleon is positioned in the middle of the artwork and is significantly larger than the other figures, giving the impression of grandeur and authority. The way he holds his arm and the way he stands imply that he is giving orders to his soldiers. Napoleon's command role is emphasized by the diagonal placement of the smaller scaled soldiers, which draws the viewer's attention to him. A sense of depth and motion is added to the picture by the use of light and shadow. Napoleon commissioned the painting to boost his reputation as a strong leader and conqueror. Artistically speaking, David was the perfect choice to portray Napoleon as a heroic character because he was a member of the French Academy and a supporter of the French Revolution. The painting was used as propaganda and was widely replicated in prints and engravings.